But Mr. Fuller is a big part of the legacy of Southern Illinois. A new book aims to tell the story of one of Fuller's most recognizable creations, his dome home. News 3 spoke with the authors of that book about the origins, importance, and now the restoration of Bucky's dome. I love the humanity he re represents. I love the hopefulness that he represents, uh, the can-do spirit. These are all things that we need today, perhaps in 2020 more than any time that we've needed it recently. Buckminster Fuller, internationally known author, scientist, philosopher, and architect, once called Southern Illinois home. He was worried about things that are more timely now than they were even in his day, like sustainability, like uh, being in harmony with the environment. Fuller taught at SIU's School of Art and Design from 1960 until 1970. He also built his first and only dome home on Forest Street, where it still stands today. That home is now the subject of a new book. It's called Bucky's Dome, the resurrection of R. Buckminster Fuller and Ann Hewlett Fuller's dome home in Carbondale, Illinois. Authors Thad Heckman and Carrie O'Dell say they're looking to educate people, especially those here at home, on the importance of the dome. Bucky's probably more well known in Canada and Europe and especially Japan. He's very popular there and uh, probably a lot of Asia. And uh, you might walk uh, a few miles out of town and you, if they have an awareness, it's probably a vague awareness that there's this weird house on the southwest side of Carbondale. The Fullers moved from Carbondale in 1971, and the home was turned into a rental property, eventually falling into disrepair. The group RBF Dome NFP purchased the dome and began restoration in the early 2000s. Then in 2006, the dome home was added to the National Register of Historic Places. Heckman says work on the home is almost complete, but there are still a few finishing touches that need to be done. There's a few maintenance items that we're kind of having to go back and touch up and redo, but uh, it, it's... I like to say 99% done and truly gorgeous. We're trying to repopulate the dome now like you would most historic structures to look like the famous person that lived there. Odell and Heckman say Fuller's legacy lives on, and they hope the dome home stands as an evolving tribute to his artistic spirit. And I think that eventually, you know, they even want to have some sort of interpretive center so that someone coming to Carbondale can get the most out of their visit to the Bucky Dome and learn the most about the man and what he stood for. Everybody knows Einstein for his famous equation, of course, but his humanitarian thinking was as good as it gets for uh, uh, many philosophical reasons. And likewise, Bucky, he's noted for the dome, but his philosophical and compassion for the planet and people both simultaneously, which is sort of lacking here of late, that we, uh, uh, that he truly has my respect for. Bucky's Dome is available for purchase online, or you can pick it up locally at the Carbondale Barnes & Noble. All proceeds from the book will go back to restore the dome.